And good afternoon to you. This is HurricaneCities.com with an update on your Hurricane Earl advisory. This is the latest advisory that we got from the National Hurricane Center. And this advisory is at 4 o'clock. And we're looking at Hurricane Earl, still a major hurricane. It was located at 22.0 degrees north. 68.8 degrees west, moving west northwest at 14 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds 135 miles per hour. Minimal central pressure is 940 millibars, and it's moving off to the west northwest. As you can see, Earl has um, the center of the hurricane, which is the wall cloud. Um, the, around the eye of the hurricane collapsed this morning and has uh, been pretty much filled in with cloud cover. Uh, this doesn't mean that the system is is um, dying out. It just means that it has encountered restructuring. Um, it will um, begin to build another wall cloud. Some hurricanes when they make reach their maximum intensity they start to uh, readjust and uh, have to uh, come into another phase which uh, developing another wall cloud. As this storm moves off to the more northwest it's expected to uh, approach the um, north coast of the Hatteras, North Carolina, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina coastline. Not expected to move inland, but it's supposed to brush the coastal areas of the North Carolina coast in winds of 115 miles per hour. They do have currently um, hurricane watches in effect along the North Carolina coast. We'll go through over there right now. This is actually our website that you will see. That's hurricanecities.com. This is the uh, top of our uh, hurricane site and it will give you the latest. We also have uh, a live cam on Cape Hatteras and you'll be able to see the storm and the waves as it approaches the coast. There is a hurricane watch currently in effect for um, the coastal area. We'll show that to you now. We're actually um, refreshing the website. At 5 p.m. Uh, the advisory has been issued from Surf City to Duck, North Carolina. And this is uh, in the wake of Hurricane Earl, which is now a Category 4 hurricane and it's going to be about 100 miles off the eastern Carolina coast sometimes on Thursday with winds of 115 miles per hour. Earl is a major hurricane uh, currently with winds of 135 miles per hour so there will be a slight decrease in wind speed once it approaches the Carolina coast. Once again this is our website Hurricane Cities. You can get comprehensive uh, hurricane information. We have live cams. We have also uh, interactive hurricane tracking map. You can zoom in uh, as the storm approaches the North Carolina coast. Very easy to use and very handy tool to um, navigate. So if you are actually looking for a good tool to track Hurricane Earl, come to HurricaneCities.com. This is the latest that we have. We'll keep you up informed um, sometimes in the morning with an update. Thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon.